my channel. So today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top five favorite red lipsticks. And right now it's pretty much Halloween day. It's like one in the morning. <laughs> and my boyfriend and my brother and my cousin are like out playing basketball um, at the school next door. So I'm just here really bored like what should I do because babies are sleeping and I'm like hmm what should I film um I don't really feel like doing a tutorial because like my makeup's already done and I don't feel like taking it off and I'm like oil is coming through and like always you guys excuse the lighting I'm trying really hard to like save and invest in a really good lighting system so in the meantime I'm going to show you guys my top five favorite um red lipsticks and Honestly, um, I have a few other favorite red lipsticks, but I could not find them to save my life. Like the mommy life, I freaking lose everything all the time. My kid grabs it, she misplaces it somewhere. Then again, it's like my fault. But anyways, um, so I have two, well I guess three high-end ones and two drugstore ones. And one of them is a liquid lipstick and um, the rest are just regular lipsticks. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the drugstore ones. So the first one here is this Rimmel Kate Moss uh, lipstick and this is in number 107. So it looks like this. And I know it might look different because the lighting is like horrific right now, but it's kind of like a darker, um, like a deeper red. And let me swatch this for you. I already kind of did some swatches on my hand, so it's a little bit hard. So there's that one. Oh my gosh, the light's like right right here, so it's like really hard to tell. But that's what it looks like. And these are about four something each, so they're really inexpensive. And I love these, and I love the way they last on your lips. They're not completely, completely matte, but they're not too um, moisturizing to where it comes off really quick. So they're just like the perfect mixture between creaminess and like matteness. Okay, and then the next one here um, is one of the Milani's Amore Matte Lip Creams, and this one is in 06 Desire, and I'm pretty sure, sorry you guys, my hair is like bugging the crap out of me, I'm pretty sure you guys know that my hair bugs me every single time, that's why I always usually have it like up in a bun, but I can't find a hair tie to save my life right now. Oh my gosh, so my hair is just down and it's like ugh, all over the place, sorry. I know I always play with my hair in my videos and I'm like trying so hard to like stop that freaking bad habit, but one of them. Okay, so this one is in um, 06 to Siren. This is a really, really bright red uh, liquid lipstick and I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, but you guys know it's like the really, really bright red one. So it's that one right there. Um, so yeah, I really, 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 really like this one. Like if you're just doing like a really simple eye, maybe a wing liner and just a bold red lip. If you're really um, thinking about doing like a bright red lip, this is like the perfect This one I got red. Um, when yeah. I placed my order for when I bought Champagne Pop through Sephora. Um, I got it as my like my little birthday gift set and this is the NARS what is it? Corella. And I really really like the formula of this. It's very very matte. My swatches are like extremely thick right now. So it's that one right there and oh my gosh you guys are gonna hate me the lighting is like horrific. But it's this one right here. And I really, really like this. This is really perfect for fall. This Milani one is more just like, it's one of my favorite bright red ones. Um, like I don't have too many bright, bright red lipsticks, but that one is one of them. And it's like kind of my, one of my go-to super bright red lips. But this one is a lot more wearable. So it's, you can wear this like year round, I feel. And along with the Rimmel one. I feel like these two are really good fall is colors. the um, MAC, there it is. The next one is the MAC Viva Glam. I'm pretty sure it's Viva Glam one, one or two? No, I think it's one. Um, so it's got like the red border around it and I absolutely love this color. This is like also one of my favorite go-to reds, like whenever I'm going for a red, 
Um, I usually don't do a really, really bright red like the Milani one, but anytime I'm going for red, I always go for this one because it's the perfect mixture. It's not too, too dark like Diva, but it's also not too, um, too bright. Let me swatch this for you. And I feel like the NARS one and this one are very, very similar. Although the lighting is like horrendous, like I said. So this one up here. And if you guys have this, you guys will know exactly what it looks like. I'm sorry, the freaking lighting is really, really bad in here. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me try to cover, get some shade and see if it looks any better. But yeah, so this one I really, really love. I go for this one all the time. It's like the perfect red. When you put it on your lips, if you don't use any lip liner, um, it looks a little bit lighter than this. Of course, on everybody it looks different, but I just find that this is like one of the most perfect reds ever. And then last but not least, also for MAC, is MAC's Ruby Woo, which if you do not have any MAC lipsticks, I feel like you need this in your collection. Um, it's just a beautiful red, and of course, guess who got to this? Mm-hmm, Kendall. Um, so she ruined this um, a while ago, actually, and I just haven't gone back for a new one um, because I've really been loving that Viva Glam one. I'm pretty sure it's one. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be going and um, getting another one of these. I'm going to try to like swatch this on my freaking pinky. But yeah, this one is extremely, extremely mattifying. So I really would suggest you um, moisturizing your lip, like putting a lip balm before you put this on. And if you have any like crusties on your lips, you know, from like your lips being chapped, make sure that you like um, really exfoliate your lips. Um, if you don't have like a lip sugar lip exfoliant thing, just um, go ahead and like wet your toothbrush a little bit and use the brush and like you know slowly brush the little excess skin off of your lips i do that all the time and it also um, makes your lips a little plumpier so you don't have to go get an all that expensive surgery you know well not surgery but like you know what i mean <laughs> so this one here is max ruby Woo, and oh my gosh i'm so sorry the lighting in here is just I know I said this like seven times already, but uh, yeah, that's what it looks like right there. And it's on my pinky. Yeah, this one is a lot brighter. It's a lot more similar to um, this one right here, which is the Milani one. So they're kind of similar. They're very similar-ish in color, except the Milani one, once it dries, it's a little bit darker. Um, and this one still is a lot brighter and it's a lot more like um, blue toned. So yeah, a lot of these are pretty similar, but these are like the reds that I go for. I like a lot darker. I feel like I'm, I will end up doing like a whole separate video on like my top five favorite like fall lipsticks because those end up being a lot deeper reds and like deeper purples. So I'll do a whole separate one. I just wanted to do like strictly red lipsticks right now. And yeah, so these are like my top five that I go to most. Um, I got rid of so much makeup once I moved into my boyfriend's house because it was just too overwhelming. My kid would get into it all the freaking time. And um, yeah, um, and now, and that was when I wasn't doing videos. So now I'm just like, oh, I wish I like, I would have kept all that makeup so I could do reviews and I could do more tutorials and I could just like switch it up a lot more. But um, oh well, whatever. Thank you, thank you guys um, so much for watching. Let me know what your guys' favorite red lipsticks are or favorite red fall lipsticks are just down below. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, if you tried any of these, uh, let me know. Also, don't forget to um, add me on Snapchat and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave all that information down below. And then also, um, if you guys are interested in these lashes, I don't even know if you can see them, if you like them. These are um, from Dodo Lashes. And they have an Instagram, they might have a Facebook, but they look like this. And I'm going to make a whole separate video on these, um, just because I don't really want to talk about them too much right now. But they're 100% mink lashes, 100%, and they're only $5. $5. Like, I know mink lashes can get very, very pricey. Like, I've seen the most expensive about, like, almost $40 online for one pair, and I'm like... 
No, there's like no way in hell I'm going to pay $40 for freaking one pair of lashes that are gonna end up getting stuck on the couch somewhere or like under my shoe somewhere. So yeah, and these are only um, $5 a pair and then I also have a coupon code for you guys which I'll leave like down here and then I'll also leave it down below but it's just the same as my Instagram name. It's everybody.loves.lucy and then so yeah, they're already $5 and then if you use my code you'll get an extra um, discount off so I'll just leave all that information down below but like I mentioned I'll also do a separate video on these where I'll give you guys a review and show you some of the different um, styles that I got. I got four different ones and the one that I'm wearing right now is in D105 but yeah so that's gonna uh, wrap it up for this video um thank you thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for 2,000 followers on instagram i really really do appreciate it um i never thought i'd see that number and honestly a lot of you guys might be like that's not even a lot but to me that's a lot like i've never on my personal page which i don't post on anymore i only have like 200 followers like 200 and something followers like i never thought i'd ever even get to a thousand followers so um hitting 2,000 followers really really does mean a lot and i also wanted to mention um if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know that i won one of the new champagne glow palettes um from becca and jacqueline hill the new holiday palette um i won it in the giveaways that they were doing daily and um i was already planning on getting something for you guys for my 1000 subscriber giveaway which i'm still very close to 900 but i'm not quite at a thousand yet um i was planning on possibly doing that and since i'm already getting one for free i might just do that but i'm not completely sure yet but i just want to wait until i'm a little bit closer to a thousand followers just because um i don't want a lot of people just to just subscribe to try to win this and then unsubscribe later. I really want somebody that truly watches my videos and is, you know, a real supporter of mine to win this and not just like some random person, you know? So yeah, <laughs> but I'll give you guys a lot more details on that later. Thank you, thank you guys so much for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.